Hey everyone, this is my Patreon powered reaction to the 11th episode of Seto no Hanayome. And last episode, we actually got to meet Luna's father, who was uh, the Terminator. That's that's who he was, you know. If you ever watch Terminator movies, you were wondering what his secret identity is, what he what he is off screen. It's just Luna's dad just doubles as a Hollywood actor. I think that was the I think that was the takeaway of the episode. So that was pretty cool stuff. Now this episode, I'm not sure quite sure what we're gonna get. I did see like the first frame that said uh, like physics, like girls' physical examination. So I, I guess we're at least gonna get that. So that could uh, that could be pretty fun in its own way. So yeah, let's jump on in and see exactly what uh, what what goes down this episode. So three, two, one. Play. <laughs> this is indeed what we start with and i don't know what i was expecting of course sadu is getting on this action i i don't i would expect no less but you know your wife's in there so i don't know if you want to let sadu just sadu do that <laughs> there's so much wrong with one sentence You know, you, you two were friends way before you met this guy. It should mean something. That is son. <laughs> Insufficient imagination. The, ult ult the ultimate sensor. <laughs> Insufficient imagination. Oh, God. Yeah, I... Uh, if that's, if that's Son's father, you might want to leave right about now. <laughs> Edo Sumi. I was just protecting uh, Son from uh, Sadu and, uh, and Kai. I was, I was doing a good job. You should, you should praise me. He's probably not going to praise him, though. And as always, our wonderful opening. And rock that guitar. Oh, you can actually see him in a spacesuit back there. Never noticed that. It's hard to notice, but he is back there. And a title? Arm Armageddon, okay. So another exciting episode, I see. There's nothing wrong with the little meat. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna happen. Oh. And yeah, we know where the real excitement is. Yeah, I mean, it's not like there's people watching at home or anything. Watching the anime episode. <laughs> I, I don't think your compliance is a factor. <laughs> I mean, that's to be expected. Hmm. <laughs> 
Uh, Luna's turn. <laughs> I'm guessing that wasn't good news. <laughs> Should we be careful about casting stones? <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> you just, you're not as good as her. I just, you gotta accept that. <laughs> we. I. <laughs> That's terrible justification for that, but... What is that? Okay. <laughs> I like how we say what's in it after they swallow it. After they... After they... After they commit cannibalism. <laughs> no diet is worth cannibalism. <laughs> Man, that old doc, old computer, old operating system for mermaids. This is very specific. And somebody's watching. <laughs> wow. That seems oddly familiar. Pilot episode. I guess so. <laughs> what's what's up, fish? I that that's rough, buddy. Lonely boy. Do we have something to solve all of his problems that you can buy for nineteen ninety nine? Secret Tail Deluxe. Oh, 10,000 yen. It's not too bad. <laughs> Just straight up watching a commercial right now. Naturally. You know, one for your friend. <laughs> hey, don't worry about the interest. It's, it's, this is not a problem. Well, are, are we going to pick up one? I really don't think that's what she is, for one thing. And also, you're the freeloader living here on top of that, so... <laughs> really? <laughs> Buying some of that daughter affection. <laughs> okay. I didn't need that visual in my life. Did that say thighs? I think it might have. Oh wow, that looks pretty good. Whatever it is, I'd buy that. <laughs> she just doesn't get a choice, does she? She needs to stand up to Lunar a bit more. Oh, 18. Oh, oh, oh. Um, yeah, that's a very specific number. Uh huh, with some implications. So, <laughs> raw Nama. That might refer to something else, though. Might not be what you think. <laughs> uh -huh. How do you respond to that? Okay, here's the aerobics. I... 
I don't, I mean, I don't know what I was, I don't know what I was expecting, but that's a fine quality DVD. <laughs> you know, the other one was actually more erotic than this. Like uh, the other one actually could be used as Okazu. That 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 could not. At least not by me. I'm sure some people are into that. <laughs> More puns. You press the button. <laughs> it's like yeah, like a carp a carp swimming at the waterfall. <laughs> okay, I'm um, phrasing up. Uh -huh. Yeah, do it for the diet. <laughs> I think we're all getting something out of this. Ah, uh, this this not so much. Imagine you walk into a sauna, there's a shark in there. You walk back out immediately. Oh, so he bought the bigger fin. The secret fin thingy. <laughs> uh, that's not exactly what that is, but... <sighs> what? Oh. Does daddy need a diet too? <laughs> the exact opposite of the last one. Uh, that's a good point. Do we do we really want to? I wouldn't wouldn't mind seeing the mother in mermaid form. And what do we massa? I wasn't peeping. I was just seeing if uh, there was enough room for me in there. You know. <laughs> Don't say it in a soon dead way. I mean, his reactions to Masa are very telling, but. Probably just a bit bi-curious, you know. Uh... <laughs> I don't know if we should be drinking that. Uh, so what exactly is it going to do to him? But what specifically? How bad are we talking? In one go. <laughs> That's what he cares about. Not the consequences to Nagasumi. I mean, yeah, it's probably not going to die, but it should still be a bit more... Uh, is he going to, like, become a fish, or is he just going to grow into a giant? <laughs> oh no, at least get out of the house before you break it. Okay, that's not what I expected to happen. <laughs> I didn't spend that one to the neighbors. Everything changed when the the Titans attacked. <laughs> this is Jurassic Park. This is where he would get eaten by Nagasumi. It's kind of hard to hide it. <laughs> Gonna put the people to sleep. I guess that's one way to deal with it. <laughs> Superman. His junk just hanging out there, too. So how do we fix this? So what do we do, though? You can't let him just go on a rampage. 
<laughs> yeah, imagine she sees this. She probably had multiple issues with it. You know, our police officer are girly here. The public indecency. <laughs> Must be more tired than I thought. <laughs> It's called killing the. I didn't get to read all that. <laughs> well, at least he's facing the other way. <laughs> no, you saw right. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy how, how, how fast they grow. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. You're not going to try to kill him, are you? Oh. Okay. <laughs> like the, yeah, tentacle still cut. Good. Oh no, that's not safe. You gotta not be there. Okay. Moss side of the rescue. Is that Kai? Yeah. Okay. Give it a shot, Kai. We'll take anything at this point. Oh! That'll hurt. Question mark. <laughs> My musica and musica. That was the loss in translation. I mean, because the person thought I hit him in the stomach, but apparently not. <laughs> I didn't know you could just do that. Like a ninja, but in a Sengoku family or something. <laughs> All that poor rocket getting violated. This is such a ridiculous episode, even by this show's standards. <sighs> and Bear Boy's going into space. <laughs> You'll be missed. <laughs> We're solving the problem, I, I guess. What are you gonna do? Bring it back? Ninkunet. <laughs> oh, he actually made it all the way to the moon. Good time, too. We're not going to give up on the protagonist. I don't feel any pain in your voice. Can't do that. We're supposed to rescue him. <laughs> Such a crazy. Is he going to like grab the missiles? <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> Didn't even dodge it. Uh, hey, okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves. I'm sure he could take that. He's a big boy. See, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he just got separated from everyone he loves in a cold, unknown place. Yeah, could you please save my husband and not try to kill him? No. <laughs> Get wrecked. So was that the mother? Yep. Oh, what do you have there? A special Seto family relic? Artifact? <laughs> I bet. Mesa. Okay, so we do have like a Deus Ex Machina thing we can use. Gotcha. 
Of course it is. <laughs> yeah, piercing from behind. <laughs> here's here's the petals <laughs> man she really is the coolest character in this show in addition to being the cutest character yes it is <laughs> you save your husband Ow! Boards! Or not. Ow! That could have gone better. I really did not expect that. <laughs> hey, it is important to have a psycho one after all. We finally realized the importance of it. <laughs> it's gonna go okay, it actually worked this time. Effect might vary, and not everyone's as strong as Sun. I can't believe she messed up the first time. And okay. Right in the forehead. Right between the eyes. Pretty good aim. <laughs> he did good, son. He didn't even took two tries. CPR, CPR, not naturally. Uh, could at least let his wife do it. I mean, she was there. <laughs> and important things. The important thing is, is okay. <laughs> yeah, that's what I wanted as well. But Masa beat you to the punch. It's called a plot armor. <laughs> I'm sure Son's family will pay for it. <laughs> Thirty five years. Well, that episode just happened. Uh, uh, I could use some water. Uh. Would have been funny if we saw a giant Nagasumi in this shot in this CD. <sighs> yeah, Nagasumi would probably be better off being on the other side of the table. <coughs> Yeah, then we just have our preview. Okay, that was the 11th episode of Seto no Hanayome. And this was a crazy episode. Like, a absolutely ridiculous episode. And we started off with some, uh, some, like, fan service type of stuff with the physical examination. Because that's a thing you do at school, right? And, uh, when the females are doing it, boys such as Saru, they don't miss such an opportunity. They, they they get on that, right? And Kai was there too. And I think his his uh the justification was so so flawed in so many ways. Like that, you know, my wife's in there, you know, gotta gotta check up on her or whatever. I don't remember exactly what he said, but 
it was it was terrible especially because it's not gonna his wife not his i mean that's a, a fundamental misunderstanding that he still still kind of has you know we gotta we gotta work on that unfortunately for nagasumi the father, son's father did kind of show up there and it did not end well for him like big old massive lumps on one side a bandage on the other it did not did i go well and also uh Luna. Luna is her name. Yeah, she she gained weight. Like, I think she was, like, trying to throw shade at Sana or whatever about that. And then it turned out she was the one that gained weight. And she just, like, literally forces Sana to, like, go on a diet with her. Also, they were both given some uh, fishy supplements. Just unknowingly making these girls into cannibals. Quite, quite, quite dark there. But, you know, she didn't know, so I can't really blame her. I like the little chibi thingy we saw that had, like, a very familiar song attached to it. Little chibi masa, little chibi mermaids. And apparently, yeah, this is just one of the things a Seto organization does. Just commercials. They sell sell uh, secret uh, fi secret tales. DX, right? You get a buy one, get one free kind of deal. And somebody asked the important question, why would you ever need two? But later on in the episode, uh, Asan uh, utilizing one of those spears. She demonstrated why having a second one, having a backup, always a good idea. Always a good idea. So we learned a lesson at that, at that point. I do kind of wish Son would be a bit more stand up for herself a bit more in regards to Luna. She just kind of like lets her drag her a lot around a lot. But I know it's just kind of, you know, it's just kind of how it is. It's, it's the dynamic. But I, I still I would like to see that. We we had uh, we had like an aerobics uh, mermaid DVD which our girls used, which was a great little scene seeing cute mermaid girls doing aerobics. It was it was it was nice. I I quite enjoyed it. Just, you don't really get to see them with their tails very often, so... And anytime, anytime I get to see that, it's quite nice. So, even saw little Maki doing it in the background there. Who didn't have it for Mermaid Tail, but still, she was doing it nonetheless. And the 18 plus video that <clears throat> that father and son came across wasn't, wasn't all that great. It was literally just female fishes. Not like sexy female fishes like... Uh, like mermaids, just regular female fish. So, didn't do much for them. I don't. I don't think. Although father and son watching, you know, an arrow video together is a little bit weird, just in general. But you know, I guess they're just that close. Fair, fair enough. But didn't work out regardless. So, it's it is what it is. Also, I mean, up until that point, the episode wasn't too weird. You know, it wasn't too weird. A very important qualifier there. But once Nagatsumi drunk the special drink and became a literal giant, things took a bit of a turn because he's like giant and naked and breaking the house and breaking stuff. And we, we, uh, what even, what even did happen in this scene? Like, a lot of the humor was like just random people seeing what was going on and like doubting their eyes. That was pretty funny. You, our uh, octopus didn't, didn't accomplish too much, but he tried. Kai tried something. Ramming his giant submarine into his junk. That 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 would have hurt. That would have hurt. But I think there's also some pleasure in that pain, judging by look look on his face. And then a rocket just I mean at that point it was already getting pretty crazy, but then we like once again doubled it with a rocket sending him to the moon. Like, what the hell? But nothing we can't solve, you know. We tried shooting missiles up there and that didn't it didn't do much, and then we just give Sai Son a magical spear thingy, uh which she screws up the first throw. That was I mean, that may not have been the most ridiculous thing in the episode, but it was probably the most surprising. Like it was all getting all hyped up and she's like it's such an amazing wife, you know, doing doing all this to save her husband and she just like loses her footing and throws it in the wrong place. Like yeah. Luckily we had that second one. Luckily, the mother showed up with it, but yeah, the second time it worked, it went up right between the eyes, and that somehow caused him to revert back to normal and come back to Earth safe and sound. He needed a bit of Masa CPR, but after that, it was it was it was all good. But the house was still broken. That was that was a downside. Just so yeah, not exactly the happiest ending ever, but it could have been much worse. Like at least we got him back, but. The house is still destroyed. <laughs> he wants back those 35 years of installments. But we have each other. Isn't that what matters most? It is, isn't it? So, yeah, good episode. Good, crazy, insane episode. We didn't, we didn't get any new characters this episode, but still a fun episode nonetheless. And we'll see how things go next time in the next episode. <laughs> so, if you like this video, I do hope you hit the like button and support me on Patreon. And I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.